Kia ora and welcome to Crafty Katie's first ever crochet video. Today's tutorial is a beginner's tutorial and we will be creating a dishcloth like this. Dishcloths are great because they are sustainable and can be reused. It is also good as a face cloth which is a perfect gift. Today I will be using this purple 8-ply cotton. You must use cotton for a dishcloth so it can dry and not smell. Um, for 8-ply oh, is the standard. As you increase in ply, like 10-ply or 12-ply, the yarn itself gets chunkier. 8 ply is perfect for this project and with 8 ply as it would say on the label if you were to go and buy cotton you will use a 4 millimeter or a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook right let's get started with a snip slip knot To do it, we do a slip knot in order to attach the yarn to the hook. So taking the yarn in our right hand, pulling it up in front and over and down the index on the left hand. Now we want to pinch the short this short hand with these two fingers. So we cross it over pinch and that falls away can, you can see an X there across then you grab the long piece and go up and over we can also pinch that one same motion as before see there's two loops on my finger we want to grab the back loop pull it up and over the front loop Grab the short piece, pull it, and there is your slip knot. Now you can insert your hook, pull the long piece. We are ready to start the project. Cow pie. Now we're going to move on to creating our first foundation chain using a stitch called the chain stitch so we will be holding the hook in this hand and controlling the tension of the yarn in your left hand the way i do this is wrap the yarn the long yarn that's attached to the ball around the pinky up and around the index And can, you can see there, pointing the index up, it, it controls the tension. Around the pinky, around the index, point the index up. Now for the chain stitch. You want to pinch the short end, again with your thumb and your middle finger. We want to pull this yarn through that loop. So the knack to do this is go underneath with the hook facing up, underneath, t turn the hook. So you turn with your right hand, twisting it like this. So maybe do that a few times to get used to it. Oh, just picking the nose out there. So I'll repeat, you go underneath with the hook up, Turn the hook down and pull back through the loop. It's one. Underneath, turn down through the loop. Two. Now you want to adjust your hands as you go. Underneath, loop down, twist down through the loop. Three. Underneath, twist down through the loop four. 
five. That was eight stitches. We want to do for a good size, for this tutorial to get a good size cloth, I am going to do 32. So do that now. Once you finish your chain, pause the video if you haven't. It's a nice long chain for a good size cloth. We are going to work a half double crochet into every single chain space along here. So if you look at, you can see V's in the chain. So effectively you want to go into the, the end of the V, into every chain if that helps. Half double crochet, what you do is I call it a yarn over, but that is when you go underneath the um, yarn and turn your hook over. So you have one loop on the hook from the beginning and now you have another piece of yarn on the hook. So I'll do that again. Underneath and over two pieces on the hook. Now you are going to skip the first one. I'm going to go straight into the second V. Insert. Now we're going to Hook the yarn on this side, pull it through the V. Now you can see we've got three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, in other words, get loop the yarn onto your hook and pull through all three stitches, all three loops, sorry. I'm going to do that again into the next V. So yarn over, insert, grab the yarn on the other side, hook it through, three loops on the hook, grab the yarn, turn it down, pull through three. And that was two double, half double crochet stitches. I'm going to do more now for you to watch. You want to do this in every stitch all the way to the end. So pause the video and do this in your own time or follow me. Now I'm just coming up to my last chain space. 
I'm going to insert into there and do my last half double crochet stitch. Congratulations, you've done one row. Now we'll want to do one chain. So that's the stitch we did right at the very start. All you need to do is loop over and go through one. Now we can turn the work. Now we'll be working back along the top of the first row, doing the same stitch. So over. Now we're going to be inserting it into under the V at the top. So when you tilt your work there on the top, so you can see all these Vs. So yarn over. Insert into the very first hole so you can see the two V's on the strands on the top. Hook, pull through, hook and yarn over and pull three three. Same into the next one. The next one. And all the way along this chain. When you get to the end, it's often hard to see that last stitch. So that stitch you'll put through there and you think you're done. But there is one hidden at the very end, just there. So make sure you do the final stitch, chain one, turn your work. Work along the top. Chain one, turn your work. And you keep doing that until your cloth grows. I prepared this piece earlier, but this is me continuing that pattern 28 times, 28 rows. But you can do it as far as you'd like. If you'd like a square cloth, it's reasonably square. If you'd like a square cloth or a larger, though in that way, you can continue. But how you finish, so you want to ch chain one like as if you're turning, cut off that piece and pull through. Give it a nice tug. Congratulations, you've made your first ever crochet cloth. The last and final step is to sew in the ends with a darning needle. You just want a hand sewing needle. You want to curve it in and out and pull that through. Don't just chop them off because then it will unravel. Thank you for the video and keep an eye out for more tutorials.